there would be people that would have wanted to buy this land and immediately rock pick it and turn it into a monocultural field so they could plant soybeans or corn, these higher commodity priced crops. Luckily, this land, most of it is in a permanent grassland easement. So it cannot be broken into perpetuity. And um, had it not been a grassland easement, I would have put it in one. This will protect this land from ever being broken. Grasslands are not the, the poor land. It's not the pasture. It's not, oh, you know, kind of the wastelands. This is an ecosystem that is by far um, probably the most important ecosystem we have in North America. And yet it is disappearing at extraordinary rates. It would be equal to the rainforest you know, equal to the boreal forest. I mean, this is what we have in North America that matters. And, you know, there's a small little track of um, tall grass prairie that runs even, you know, down in Oklahoma and Kansas and comes up through almost um, North Dakota to Canada. And yet, um, you know, that slice is getting thinner and smaller as people keep converting. And inside this track of what we call Northern tall grass prairie, it's just being fragmented all the time. And you know, it's not like you can turn it back to prairie. Um, once that happens, you are disturbing um, the infrastructure under the soil. And oh yeah, okay, well we'll seed it back to prairie someday. It takes a hundred years, a hundred years for it to ever establish what you had to begin with. So you're much better off to try to maintain what grasslands are, are left, the native grasslands, and try to work with them to make them as healthy as possible. You know, it goes even beyond this conversation about monoculture versus grasslands. The jury's in. Grasslands are where it's at. Needs to be preserved, absolutely integral to our human existence.